Hey guys, I want to welcome you back to the Sensu Pop channel. The trailer and the announcement for the next set for Dragon Ball Super Card game has just been dropped recently. We are gonna go through every single detail of what has been shown in the trailer. And uh, so here are some of the things that you have missed or all of the things you have missed in the trailer. So the first information, it is going to be the name and the release date of the new set. It is going to be called Cross Spirits and it is going to be released in August 2021. Unfortunately, we do not have the date. Unfortunately, we do not know is it going to be because uh, there is going to be any delay due to what's happening around the world. But you are going to like what you see. So start planning a budget. August 2021, get ready for the release. The next information, it is going to be a very small one, but I just want to highlight it here because it kind of shows you that the developers and the card game designer has been paying a lot of attention. Is uh, They said that over here that they have added plenty of new mechanics and fact to the games over the years. It has resulted in, you know, people who left the game, it's just very difficult for them to come back and newcomers very difficult to get into the game and they are trying to slow that down by extending the mechanics and also just improving on uh, kind mechanics. I think that's a good direction to go. Uh, they mention it over here. A, a big shout out to the dev team. If they're watching this video, thank you for taking uh, a look at this one. The next part is we are going to be talking about the colors and the leaders and the theme around the colors for red. Let's start with red. Red, it is going to be Tournament of Power. And uh, Tournament of Power have many universes and there are so many ways to do that. However, from what I've seen so far, it seems that it is going to be two universe, which is universe 11 and universe 7, which is what we are, which is the finale, all right? And uh, it is going to be Topo or Jiren, we don't know, but there is really a huge emphasis when it comes to uh, uh, Jiren. So most probably we are going to be getting another Jiren leader. There we are definitely going to get another Jiren uh, game ender though. On the other side, it is not so easy. But if you take a look at some of the screenshot that we have, you can see that over there we have Sun Gohan. That means as a leader, that means Universe Seven and also Frieza as the um, Unison. So and one thing to highlight is that we are going to get a very very good looking Topo God of Destruction. Uh, unison over there. So this is going to be pretty pretty good. However, red is definitely not my favorite color for the Dragon Ball Super Card game. So let's see how it is. Next one, it is going to be blue and blue. We are going to be having the continuation of the Hirudigan. I think Bandai has been trying to make Hirudigan work. The only thing that it managed to do so far, it's making the Hirudigan leader really good. However, no one is playing with the Hirudigan card. I like it that they're trying their best to come back again. So on one side, we are going to be having Hirudigan. The other side, we are going to be having the, the good uh, the, the good guys, right? Which is going to be, I like it when they feature like the cyber, cyber, cyber woman. Cyan woman or something like that over here. This is definitely going to be a really good one. However, blue, it's also not a color that I would like to play. But Hirudigan, why not? Maybe I'll give it a try. So far from what I see, it looks pretty good. So we are coming to green and green we will be visiting Majin Buu Saga. On one side we have the good guys which we saw. Over here we have the Goku leader and also the Saiyan man unison card. And from this gold thing, most probably this is going to be a SR. And one of the other thing is that we are having a game ender which is Majin Buu on the other side. One question to note is that uh, is it going to have some synergy with the older cards from the Majin Vegeta? Uh, Majin Buu Saga cards that have been released recently. So those are green also. So is there some synergies that we can work with the old cards? We don't know, but that might be something that uh, it could work. But we don't know. We don't know about this. It seems that for this set right now, it's a lot of building on, building on, building on. Because when it comes to Hirudigan, it is building on. Because uh, Bandai also says that they are working to... So there's quite a lot of synergy with set 4 and also with uh, the draft box cards. So this one, most probably, it's going to work with set 11 and when it comes to the Jiren part we're going to talk about that later. For yellow it is going to be interesting because once again we are going to be revisiting the Android Saga but this is not the Android Saga from Dragon Ball Z the future or whether is it the present this is going to be the the GT Android Saga because over here we can see there is going to be appearance of Dr. Mew and also Super 17 with the uh, with the Android 18 that was just protect uh, protecting Krillin and uh, so what we're going to see here is on one side it is Super 17 
machine. On the other side, it is going to be the Z Fighters with Pan with Android 7, uh, Android 18. Um, what is interesting over here is from here, we can confirm that this set, it is not a changing of archetype, a changing of color. It is more a support of older archetype with blue with Hirudigan supporting the older blue Hirudigan with green Majin Buu supporting the set 11 Majin Buu and also with red when it comes to universe uh, seven, universe 7 and also universe 11 there is some support when it comes to that so i believe that this is how this uh, set is being designed most probably that is the case However, we need to talk about Black because Black has been making quite a lot of wave recently. And when it comes to Black itself, it is going to be the first appearance of Gogeta Xeno Super Saiyan 4. Super Saiyan 4, I always said Super Saiyan 4 is the best Super Saiyan form. And uh, what we're going to see here is pretty sure from the trailer when it looks like we can see that there is going to be a Xeno um Xeno Sin Shenrong over there. The Shadow Dragon Xeno, they are coming and we have Sin Shenrong uh Xeno as the leader. Take a look at the artwork. It looks incredible. And also from the trailer itself, I'm pretty sure on the other side it is gonna be Super Saiyan 4 Xeno Gogeta. Um, it is going to be the leader. So black is definitely something that we're going to look into. But one thing I want to point out over here is take a look at the uh, unison card for Toa. When it comes to unison card for Toa, one of the things that's featured very prominently are the Dragon Ball. So are we going to get another wish leader? Most probably we are. And uh, I'm going to be, be honest here. I'm going to be so excited for this one. As much as I like the bad, the, the more villain side of Sin Shenrong, I like the design when it comes the Xeno part. The problem is I also love uh, Super Saiyan 4. Not so much of a Super Saiyan fan, but Super Saiyan 4 is the best Super Saiyan form. It's going to be very difficult, most probably for Black itself. I'm going to play both sides once again, especially if there is going to be a wish. I've been enjoying Magical Buddha so much, gonna revisit it again. So those are the colors of the new set and the saga each of them represent. However, one of the defining factors for Dragon Ball Super Card Game is not just new cards that they design for the new set, it's also the new cards they designed to support the older archetype. And one of the stuff that, um, some of the stuff I managed to pick up from the trailer is this, that if you are a fan of Cooler Mail, most probably we are gonna be getting another support for Cooler Mail archetype like we did in set 10 where they introduced a Frieza second form. This time around, it is gonna be in the form of cool uh, kinko it is going to be red and blue most probably this might be uh hopefully this is designed for to support the cooler meal arch type and the other one it is going to be the red and uh green and blue Android 16 card, most probably this is Android 20, uh, Android 21 or Android 18. I'm not sure which is which, however, we have been getting quite a lot of support. It seems that uh, the designers there are really trying to give it a push. Recently, uh, the Pincel Attack Android 18 and also the uh, Android 16 promos, both of them are designed to help our Android 18, Android 21 specifically. This one, I'm not sure which is which, but most probably it might be one of them and hopefully more both of them and when it comes to vegeta uh, dynasty of is it called vegeta lineage we are going to be getting a single card over there and i'm not too sure i've never played around with uh king vegeta dynasty or vegeta, vegeta lineage so i don't know how good this card is going to be or how much card it needs to support apparently quite a lot because vegeta lineage is not exactly like goku lineage and uh but we're going to be getting a new card it seems over there so one of the things that they highlight, it's also the changes for SPR itself. Special Rare, it's always taking a very, very interesting place in our hearts because if they are designed properly, they can go up in value a lot. And people really, really love some of this design. This one seems, I like the design because it is more than them doing something. It is a character card. And what I meant by character card is that they are just doing what their post is. They're not in an action or something. They are just posting. It's a little bit like sign without the sign if you get what i mean and also at the same time it seems from the way that they show the card um they are reverting to the hollow void that we get in uh draft box i'm not too sure if this is a good option but let's hold on and take a look as much as I like it, but I kind of want it to be, I want that type of hoi, follow, ho, hollow foy, hoi, 
Hall of Void to be reserved for uh, expansion packs or not the main set. Keep main set as main set, but I'm not too sure about that. I have been proven wrong in many of this. And um, sometimes, like for example, the Hall of Void, slowly and slowly, I really like them when it comes to uh, draft boxes. Hopefully, this is going to be the case for this one. So let's take a look. Give them a chance. We're not too sure about that. And the next thing is for every single box, there is definitely a SR or SPR included. So this is nothing has changed because right now if you buy a box, there is a box topper and you are going to be getting an SR. And if you're lucky, a SPR. So nothing has changed here, but I felt that there's a need to highlight in this trailer because these are some of the questions that uh, the community loves to ask. When it comes to premium packs alone, we have four packs and you can see it is going to be Jiren uh, for, for red. It is going to be Gogeta for black. Uh, Super 17 for yellow and also the uh, Goku Spirit Bomb, which is the last uh, attack that he do on the Kid Buu. It's going to be in green. So these are the defining factors or defining pictures of each of the sagas that they embody. Of course, blue, it's not there, but I'm just saying over here, it's not that maybe they don't create it for blue. It's just that um, for premium packs alone, you just have four, four packs and they just have to show four packs. And at the same time, there is going to be some uh, promo cards. And this time around, it is going to be since Shenron uh, Zeno and take a look at the artwork. It looks pretty amazing. I have to save one of the best news for one of the last things that I'm going to say. It is going to be the return of the starter decks. I love constructed decks. I love pre con decks. I love to take them out of the box and play with them. And especially with Dragon Ball Super Card Game, I hope they don't change this. Uh, starter decks or expert decks or um, starter decks, expert decks, they have the best leader foiling. Take a look at some of these uh, leaders that we have. If you take a look and the leader looks really, really good, the foiling looks really, really good. There's a high chance that they come from a starter decks. And this is the return. For one side, we have the red, which is going to be a uh, Vegeta and the pride of the Saiyan. So most probably this are all Saiyans thing. On the other side, we do also have the pride of the Saiyan, but on the darker side, it is going be Darkness Reborn. What is interesting over here, it is going to be a reboot of the Bardock's uh, starter decks. And I believe the Bardock starter decks is one of the first starter decks that came out. Is that true? Not true. Definitely not true. But it is the first black uh, starter decks that came out. That should be true. But this is going to be a reboot of that. So what is the difference between a new one and a reboot is that they take the old mechanics, refine it, most probably giving a little bit more card draw. So fans of the old uh, Marseille deck, which is like me, it's going to love this. We're going to have Dark Broly. We're going to have uh, the Mars Dark Mars King and stuff like that. It is going to be pretty, pretty interesting. Both leaders, hopefully nothing has changed. It's going to look so good. And also the pre-release cards, usually when a new main set is launched, we have pre-release cards. In the past, it used to be always a leader and a unison, but this time around, it seems that something has changed. Because over here, for the pre-release cards, we have a unison card, but we don't have a leader card. We do have a battle card or extra card. I do not know. Uh, most probably it is a battle card because the traits and everything, it is going to be over there. So that might be, a, so this might be the first set that they move away from the formula where they have a unison card and a leader card i think they're going to shake things up over here let's take a look at some of the mechanics that's being introduced when it comes to red some cards they have shown which is Girentas of the power and it seems that uh, this is what bandai is doing which is try to support the older sets for one card we are able to bring out the four drop Giren just for three energy and uh, that's pretty good because this Giren is very very strong it is a bully on the board itself because it can hit uh, cards that are in active mode and it swings at 30k and the next swing it's going to be 30 30k double strike just for three energy 30k double striker that could swing and anything on the board i'll take it most probably it's pretty good and the other one, it's Hirudigan. When it comes to Hirudigan itself, take note, Bandai says that there's going to be new cards, but the cards are also designed to work in synergy with the older cards from uh, from set number four and also from DB uh, Draft Box 3. So if you are looking forward to play the Hirudigan cards, maybe some of the things that you should do right now, it's ready to go and procure or buy your uh, stuff, or, um, the Hirudigan stuff. 
When it comes to green, it is very, very interesting because we have a new card that's been shown. It is going to be Heart of the Maidens. I think Bandai, uh, the card designers in, have said that it is going to be working for together with some skillless mechanics. So you can see that when it comes to the Heart of the Maidens, uh, if your leader is a heroine card. So most probably one of the green cards leader that we're going to have. We know that we're going to have a Goku. So this card is not going to work with the Goku, right? So it is going to be pretty interesting, but take note that this card is designed to work with the heroine lineage. So Banda is giving me more support when it comes to the heroine lineage. It's not really well played. Uh, for me, I don't play it because it's not really, really theme. For me, theme is not just like heroine. Theme, it's also the artwork, right? How and the colors and they kind of have to be synergized. But when it comes to the hero and it's just all over the place, I just find it very difficult for me to play that card. And also, the, if you are looking to play hero and lineage, uh, then please go and get this championship card. This is pretty cheap right now because uh, there are going to be support cards for you to bring out this pawn hero in victory um, easily. All right. So basically, I think, yes. So basically, this is the end of the video. I hope I cover and I explain every single thing that's been reviewed today. And of course, there are some details that I don't have. Uh, but then um, I believe that this should be enough. All right. So if you like this video, I appreciate it. Give it a like. If you like what you see over here and you want to be uh, stay updated on all my videos, appreciate it. If you want to show your support, give me a sub. I would love you very much. If not, guys, stay safe, stay healthy, enjoy playing this Dragon Ball Super Card game. See you guys in the next video. Ciao.